Hi guys, Darth Deuce here with another action figure review. And I actually got another one of those Transformers Revel Tech figures to review. Um, about a year ago, maybe a bit, maybe even a bit longer than a year ago, I can't remember. Um, I got the Revel Tech Megatron and the Revel Tech Optimus, and I post reviews on both of those. I don't own the Optimus anymore. I ended up selling off that one because I just, even though I like Optimus, and that wasn't it wasn't a bad figure. I didn't like it that much, mainly due to the weird shoulder articulation. I still have the Megatron though. Um, and I remember seeing the Starscream one, researching up, see what other ones are available, and I've never seen a Starscream one. Really liking the look of that one. Um, but wasn't sure if I was going to get it, because it's actually not a cheap figure. Um, for being such a small figure, it's not a cheap one. Um, but the comic book store that I got the other two at, uh, someone must have traded the Starscream in pretty much brand new in the packaging. Probably didn't use them too much. Uh, had all its accessories and all that, so for 30 bucks Canadian, decide to snag it. And I'm not disappointed. Uh, honestly, probably my favorite uh, Rebel Tech Transformer figure that I've owned. Um, and I'd say it might even be the best out of all the ones they've done, which isn't saying much. The only one that I don't have, or ha haven't owned, is the Hot Rod one. I'm pretty sure they only did four, which was Megatron, Optimus, Hot Rod, and Starscream. They actually have Hot Rod at the store as well, but I don't have really an interest in owning that one. Um, that one does, looks pretty good too, but this Starscream one's... I think it's it's really good. Um, so here he is. Um, it's a small figure. These Rebel Tech uh, Transformers ones were small. Uh, let's see if I can get a figure for comparison. So here's granted an older three and three quarter Star Wars figure. Here's this three and three Star Wars figure. He's only about a uh, head taller, so they're about the four and a half inch. This is tall, four four and a half inches tall. So they're not very big, but that's kind of the nice thing about them. They're just nice small figures that you can easily mess with, which I really like. Uh, paint on this guy is really good as well. Um, you have this on the inside here where the cockpit's at. It's like a bright yellow. But that f Actually, no, it's a dark orange-ish yellow at the edges that fades into a brighter yellow at the top at the top here, which is really cool. You have some nice metallic paint at the vents here. Uh, the red metallic paint and the blue metallic paint looks really good on this figure. Um, that really stands out and looks pretty high quality. Just very visually pleasing. On the back here, you do have the Decepticon logos, which I think look pretty good. And you actually have them on the inside, too. They're just hard to see. Um, you got the vents here. I actually do like the more larger uh, shoulder thingies. Uh, I like that look. I think it just looks cool. The head is pretty cool. I'll be a little messy just because it is so small. And for some reason, with these figures, they like to give them swole necks. <laughs> But outside of that, I really like this head because he actually has the uh, smirking face going on, uh, which I think is really cool. This looks really funny. I like that. Unfortunately, you don't get any interchangeable heads with this figure. I wish you did. Um, I think that would have been really cool. But I like the head they did give you because if they were going to give you one head, it's got to be this star screen smirking head. And then the rest of the figure, you know, just looks really good. You do got the null rays, which are articulated. They do swivel, which I think are, is great, and they do look good. Um, talk more about the hands in a moment. He's got a more slender build as opposed to Megatron, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, the Revel Tech joints, honestly, don't, aren't, well, I mean, these ones are kind of ugly, but aside from that, they're not really too ugly or noticeable, so I do like that as well. And you got the feet and the legs down here, which is really cool. You got the jet boosters on the bottom of the feet. Um, which actually are a bit lifted up from the feet, so that kind of actually makes it a little harder for him to stand because these don't actually support him standing, but it's not that big a deal. And just overall looks really, really good. I really like how the Starscream looks. In terms of articulation, he's got all those revolving Revel Tech joints everywhere, so you know you got the ball, the Revel Tech joint at the base of the neck here. Um, you do got in the shoulders as well, and that rotation there. You got a swivel at the bicep as well as a single hinge. Um, you got the swivel at the wrist. You got the torso goes forward, and they actually carved in a divot there in the torso, so you can actually crunch it forward. So that's really cool. You also have the rail tight joint at the hips, as well as the knees and at the ankles. So you get a lot of different movement and articulation out of these guys. Revel Tech is all about articulation, or at least that's the impression I get. So super articulated, non-transforming Starscream figure. Um, in terms of accessories, he comes with actually in some cool stuff. Um, even though he doesn't come with interchangeable heads, he does come with interchangeable hands. Um, you do get two 
bald, punchy fist hands, which actually are the same ones that both Optimus and Megatron came with, I do believe. Um, these The hands on the stairs configure are actually easier to swap out than the ones that are on Megatron and Optimus. I find that kind of funny, but that's a good thing because the ones on those ones are honestly a pain to switch out just because they're so small and tight that you just can't get a good grip to get them out. Um, you also get a trigger hand, which I have attached with his other accessory as he comes with Megatron in his gun mode, which is really cool. To put it in the hand, uh, this the stock piece can actually unplug, and then you can just slide it in and plug it back in. So you can do that, and that's really cool. Um, the scope comes off. I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to, because aside from like all this paint chip, which looks like it might have been glued, um, it also is just really loose. Like it comes off super easily, so I might just end up gluing it in back, gluing it in there anyways. But that looks really cool. It doesn't have the Septicon logo on the gun, which kind of sucks, but it looks really cool. And I will show that on the figure in a moment because the other two hands are also really cool. You get a left pointing finger hand and you get this open sort of openish hand as well so you can do like this and these two hands in particular are my favorite because it makes the figure just so much more um gives it so much more expression and organic fluidness i suppose and it's posing like it looks so great you can get so many good like scheming star screen poses from this figure, which is what I want from a good posing Starscream figure, honestly. Um, that's the one thing I don't have in my Transformers collection yet. A Starscream that can really get good scheming poses, I guess, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, lastly, before I pose with the uh, gun, and as you can see, well, like I said, you do kind of got to fool with it to get in the stand. One really cool thing is you actually get this display base, which has a peg for just standing them up normally but also has a flight stand with a rebel tech joint on it he actually has a hole in his ass and you can plug it in it's really tight i don't even want to put it in all the all the way but and i'm not doing a good job of posing right now but you can get them on the flight stands so that is also really cool that you can do that and now quickly i will See if I can pop. See that one pops off so much easier. Well, like you don't really know because you don't have the other figures, but whatever. You get what I'm saying. You plug the gun in, and then there you have Starscream holding Megatron, which is awesome. Uh, that looks really great, and you can get a lot of great posing out of that as well. Get him doing instruments of destruction going on here. So that looks really great. I absolutely love that. Got some gangster going on, you know. Puff cap. Pretty cool. Really quickly, I will show you off, show them off with the other one I still have, which is Megatron. And I think these guys look good together. So Megatron's just ever so slightly taller, which I think makes sense. Though Starscream's technically just slightly taller if you count up to the top of the little shoulder things. But I think these two look good together. Um, and it's actually pretty fun posing them together, so... Overall, I think this Reveltech Starscream is actually really great. I think it's the best Reveltech Transformers figure yet, uh, that they've done. Uh, I think it's really great. I really I really do like it. Um, obviously, non-transforming Transformer figures, they're not for everyone. But if you're a fan of uh, non-transforming Transformers figures uh, and you want a hyper-articulated, just fun Starscream figure... 100% uh, recommend tracking this one down. It might be hard to do to get for a good price, but if you can, 100% recommend snagging it up. It is a really cool one that looks great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next video.